Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a video to show you how you can use data validation to control what people put in. I um, mean, specifically, control the text things that people put in their cells. And this can be extremely useful um, for numerous situations. So let's just say you have a scenario where you're getting collecting information from people and you're collecting their first name, their last name, their year born, their zip code, right? Well, the year born should only have four, um, four letters in it and the zip code should only have five. And let's just say, you know, you're collecting this from a lot of people and if someone puts, you know, 1999, oh, typo, you know, that could make your life e more, much more difficult because then you have to go back and fix that and try to figure out what year they were born in. So with that said, um, you're using data validation to control the number, the length of text that you put in the year born column. First, you want to highlight the cells that want to do data validation on. Let's just say you want to highlight these next um, 10, for example. Then you go to data, data tab at the top. Go down over here, right under the data tools sec section, where there's this little like, like equal sign, check, check mark, and then cancel. Click that. And then after you click that, this little data validation box will pop up. And then now, you can go from allow any value to text length. And one thing that's pretty cool is that you, once you can allow the text length, there are numerous controls as to kind of allows you to control what text length you need to fit what best meets your needs. So let's just say you want text length between like one and 50, so someone's putting in their name. Um, text length not, not between, text length not equal to, text length greater than um so there's a different flexibility as to what exactly the text links that you want to put in in your um data validation so this situation we want to make sure people just put in a year so equal text so text length equal to four now if you type in not one it says the data validation doesn't match restrictions of entry so 1999 with a typo, it doesn't match. But type in 1999, it works. But now one thing I noticed though is that we have the wrong thing. It just says the value doesn't match data validation restrictions defined for the cell. That can be a little bit confusing, right? Um, so to control that, you, you can actually control that box. So you can go to data, back to data validation tools. Um, and it just kind of gave the error message because the link that I selected is different. So text length equal to four. And you can actually change the error message that people receive. So instead of a stops, which is a little bit kind of harsh, you can put just a warning sign. Please enter, please enter only four characters. And please enter only four characters for the year. Then click OK, EX 1985. Now, so now if I type the wrong thing, as you can see, boom, the now you have a friendlier information message. Please enter only four characters, example 1985, which is a nice touch, and you can even make it to where people will see that before um when people will see that information before they do the uh type in anything so please enter to by changing the input message which kind of shows whenever the cell is selected please enter only four characters please enter only four characters for the year year x 1985 I'll click okay and now whenever you highlight over this there's this little box that says hey please enter only four characters such as 1985 um so people will know before they even start filling it out so with that said i really hope that you know this video will help you kind of have more control over what is put in into your spreadsheets and pl please like subscribe and comment let me know if you have any questions comments or concerns so thank you so much for watching you have a great day